Welcome to this tech snip where I'll show you how to create an Azure service principle via the Azure CLI version 2. As a prerequisite, you'll need to download this from the Azure portal and install it on your laptop or workstation. So if you want to create a separate logon with access restrictions in Azure, you can do through a service principle. These identities are very useful when trying to automate applications and processes. So in this snip, we'll create a service principle, assign it permissions, log in with that service principle, and then we'll remove that service principle. The first command that we're going to look at is azadsp create for rbac with the parameter name and the name we're giving to our principle is snip srv prin. I could also use a parameter with called password, but I'm going to let Azure create the password for us. Now you'll see Azure has now returned with the service principle created and it's verified this with a snippet of JSON where you'll see the details on our service principle. Uh, the items we are interested in are app ID, password and tenant as we can use these for automation purposes for authentication. So let's run the azadsp list command. This will give us details on the actual service principle. If we scroll back through, you can see there's quite a lot of information in there. What we'll also do is we will take a copy of that snippet as we'll need that information. So next, we're going to move on and assign a role of reader. So the command we use is az role assignment create, then we use the parameter assignee. So for that to work, we need to use the app ID, copy of that, and we place that in there. Okay, then we'll run that command. If you're looking for a list of the roles that are available, I've put a URL on the screen to the, the docsmicrosoft.com website. This will give you a list of all the built-in roles that you can use with service principles. Now you'll see we've got JSON output from there. So we have now been assigned reader. So let's now remove contributor. Okay. Now let's check what roles we actually have assigned by running az role assignment. This time we're going to list the roles assigned. Okay, you'll see on screen uh, role definition name, reader. Next, we'll move on and we'll log in using the service principle. So to log in, we need to take the app ID, paste that in there. Then we take the password, which was automatically generated. And then we take the tenant. So let's try and log in with the service principle. And there you see the reply back from Azure. We are not now logged in as type service principle. So to log out, we can just use the command az log out. Then what we're going to have to do after this is log back in with a privileged account. Then we can look at actually removing the ID. So we're logged out. I'll go back to az login, take a copy of this code, and we'll open up a browser window. This essentially enables me to link VS Code to my Azure account. It's now prompting me for the account I want to use, and that's been successful, I've been signed in, so I can just close that down. So lastly, to remove the service principle, if you no longer need it, you can then run azadsp delete. Then we need to paste in ID. Take a copy of that. and we run that command. And that now confirms the service principle has been removed. Thank you for watching this snip.